Here is the tiny steam power plant, that is tiny thermal power plant going to the Fiji University. Fiji is the island country in Pacific Ocean having 300 small islands. This is the water tube boiler of Yero design uh, uh, and suitable for any biomass burning which produces steam and steam goes to uh, steam engine. This is 10 horsepower steam engine and here is the heat water pump supplying the water to the steam engine. Uh, sorry, it's, uh, supplying the water to the boiler. This is feed water pump. Here is the steam engine. And once steam engine uh, is running, then uh, revolving, then it drives the generator, alternator. This is alternator of 5 kVA. And here is the digital display of voltage, ampere and frequency, which will be shown uh, on the display. Uh, digitally. Now we start the explaining of the pipe connections. First of all, pipe water pipeline uh, we will understand. Pipeline comes from the water storage tank to the feed, feed pump. We can see Pipeline comes here, uh, water comes here as per the arrow, here is the wall and then it enters at the bottom connection to this pump and this pump is revolving, it creates high pressure and it, um, this is the delivery from the water. This is two cylinder reciprocating positive displacement type of pump which creates pressure higher than a working pressure of the boiler and water goes this way to the uh, boiler. This pipeline goes to the boiler. Here is a vertical check wall means non-return wall. So water once entered up cannot go back and this is again bifurcated into two parts here it will go to the economizer of the boiler and here also there is a economizer of the boiler uh, on this side there is a economizer on both sides there are economizer internal construction of economizer we can understand here uh, this is a another uh, boiler small economizer uh, Water enters here through these tubes uh, and comes out after heating the water by flue gases. Flue gases pass through these pipes, tubes, and it is water is heated up. The function of the economizer is just to heat the water so that fuel consumed in the boiler will be a little bit less. So it is called economizer. Now this is the entry of the water into the economizer of the boiler which is on this side and here is the entry of the water into the another economizer which is on this side and after heating the water it will come out here from the economizer and again goes down to the header pipe of the boiler lower header pipe of the boiler big pipe is there here and tubes are connected here also there is a, another header pipe and tubes are connected with bigger upper header pipe where which is which we call steam pipe also so water coming from economizer duly heated will go to the bottom of the boiler similarly here also from the economizer water heated water will go to the bottom header pipe of the boiler and both are interconnected just to get an equal level. So as I explained there is a header pipe here 
lower header pipe. Similarly, lower header pipe here also, and tubes are connected to the bigger header pipe here. There is a bigger header pipe here, and many tubes are connected on both the sides. So this is called aero type boiler. It is a for marine application. Now, steam will be produced, which will be collected into this bigger header pipe, and water and steam connections will be displayed here. Level of the water will be displayed into this tube, uh, and pressure of the steam will be displayed on this pressure gauge. 150 psi is the working pressure for this steam power plant. So it will be roughly here. Red figures are showing pound per square inch psi, and black figures are showing kilogram per cm square. So working pressure is almost 10 bar, 10, 10 kg per cm square. So here is the pressure gauge, and pressure uh, pressure can be increased. Working pressure can be increased up to 180 if you want little more power from the steam engine. Steam engine is of 10 HP, but if you want 12 HP, then steam pressure could can be increased up to 180 working pressure. But this boiler has been tested up to 600 psi, so it is completely safe. On the back side of the pressure gauge, there is a safety valve, spring-loaded safety valve, and this is adjustable here. So blow up pressure means if pressure increases beyond the limit, then it will automatically blow off from this uh, uh, boiler just to save the boiler. This is extra connection and uh, here there will be chimney which has not been shown which has not been installed there will be chimney here this is the door for feeding the fuel this will be the fire grate area and these fire grates are just cast iron fire grates which are just laid here like this. You, you, we can see the inclined tubes also connecting upper header pipe and lower header pipe. Lower header pipe can be seen now. This is lower header pipe and upper header pipe is just here which we cannot see. Here is the big header pipe, which is a steam pipe in which steam is collected and that steam goes to the superheater just under this header pipe hanging inside. We can see hanging inside. Here is the superheater. This is superheater tubes. This superheater is meant for uh, superheating the steam so that water particles will not be there in the steam and it comes out it comes out here so fully saturated steam without any water particles or little bit uh, superheated comes here and goes to this steam water separator this is water separator here we have to note that entry is just tangential entry is tangential so it goes on, on the periphery, goes round, 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 down, and then uh, from, in, from center it comes up, and from the center it goes down. So heavier water particles are going down and goes out, uh, or can be drained from the steam, steam pipeline, water pipeline, sorry, from water pipeline. Now steam goes up uh, ahead, pure steam, and goes here to the steam engine. Here we have one